Hi guys, it's Dom here, and today I thought would do a Gwent movement deck because, well, I released an Elder Scrolls Legends movement deck yesterday, so let's go for a movement deck in Gwent today. And this one's all about just getting all your opponent's cards on the same row, resetting them with Geralt Id, and, and then just pinging them for a bunch of damage with other cards. But anyway, let's see how it goes in a match. So we got Eldane as our leader just because, you know, big old Chad from Throne Baker. Throne Breaker, not Baker. Definitely not going to try and cook a, cook a throne. So, our hand's looking interesting. We don't really need two crows. Or trained hawks, not crows. <laughs> so we get rid of one of the hawks and then... Do we get rid of the other one? Yeah, let's do that. Two natures rebukes, quite nice for removal. Redanian Knight. Is that going to just be a nature's rebuke target? I guess so. I mean, if they're going to intentionally break the armor off it, we might as well get rid of that first one. Still got another one in hand, just in case anything actually big comes down. And then another Redanian Knight. Okay, I don't really, don't really think I should care about that. I think maybe if we get down a Treant Boar, we can start maybe kind of doing some damage to them in a loop. Either we get that down this turn or maybe next. Should we just get it down straight away? Yeah, let's go for it. Because then we can kind of get past the fact that we're waiting a turn. Just because no Dryads in hand that I want to play straight away. But I think Dryad Matron's one of the few cards we actually run, which is a Dryad. Okay. So we're going to break the armor off that with our Treant Boar. We put Dolbrafana Sentry on the back row, we can start healing our boar. Well, not healing, but buffing it whenever it moves. And if we get down Dried Matron now as well, we can kind of get a bit of a movement combo going on. Because it moves to the right, rightmost spot of a row, but it is technically moving. So it will get the buff from moving to the right. Got plenty of cards here to move things left, right, and centre. And Eskal Pathfinder is quite an interesting choice and not really the best to play against us because we can just move it. So let's get down our matron this turn. And do we do we just use our leader ability on Eskal? I mean it is tempting. I mean we could quite easily kind of pressure them if we do move it. Yeah, let's let's, let's just go for it. We're using one leader charge, it's not too much. And our plays are slightly starting to kind of snowball because we're moving quite a few units per turn. Okay, so they're buffing a lot of things, but we're not really seeing any, um, what are they called? Like, Leary and Scythemen. Is that what I'm thinking of? I don't know. Um, we'll move Treant Boar into the front row. I guess if we just hit Redanian Archer. Maybe we could Nature's Rebuke and then okay, and then get the buff on the boar. What does that not really seem worth it? We could Eyes and Grimm's Council, actually. Yeah, let's go for that. And then if we... If we go for Kieran, I guess. Can lock a unit, move it to the other row. If we put it... If we put it to the right of the Matron, it means the Matron will have to move again. And then I guess if we lock the Knight, it means it'll stop kind of buffing. We have just about taken the lead now, so we've put a bit of pressure on them. I'm hoping we can take this round. Do we put... Yeah, let's let's keep on pushing, I'd say. I mean, I... Uh, yeah, it, it's a bit risky now if we don't take this round. But if we do push it and get it, it just means that there's a lot of kind of pressure on them. I mean, we haven't taken it by much, so they could quite easily kind of take this one. But if they pass now, they're actually in for quite a lot of, well, misery. <laughs> okay, well that's quite good for us. Because now we can just drive past round two. And they're pretty much going to be two cards. Well, they'll be one card down, but because they'll be going first, we'll get two cards after they've finished. Because we're not going to bother playing into round two. There's no real reason for us to. So, maybe get rid of Rhyhead Dragoon. I kind of want to get Geralt Ard. 
or maybe a neuromancy. Oh, we got, we got a neuromancy. What am I on? <laughs> I meant Nivella, not a neuromancy. Poor effing infantry. Okay, so I'm guessing they're running some sort of boost deck by their leader and all the other stuff that they've shown. Which does mean this is probably the perfect matchup for us. Because Geralt, oh, uh, yes, wait, Geralt, no, no, Geralt Eden <laughs> is going to be able to just reset everything. And if they do manage to swarm, we can just surrender the other row. I mean, there are a few cards like Dolbafana, Geralt, oh, that I kind of want from deck. I might have to go with Dolbafana from deck, to be honest. Just because we're going to want to buff our units instead of damage their ones a lot. I guess we can damage them a bit throughout the game, just in case they end up spreading their units over two rows to a rate which we can't comprehend. See, if we had Dolbafana in hand, we could have used Operator on it, but just unfortunately we don't. I mean, the lesser Dao and the other movement card isn't too big a deal for us. Okay, so these buffs are just fine. We can really just ignore them for now. Let's get down our Dolbafana sentry. Just so we're, you know, going to start having the combos of movement. I mean, is it worth using Operator next? On our Vryhead Brigades? Maybe? And then use the Train Talk to kill... Well, the Train Talk and... The brigade in hand to kill their brigade that we give them through operator. Do you mean actually not? Let's get Melena down actually because we got Dorblafana sentry. It just means that we can start buffing now. Melena Dorblafana. That's pretty much our combo for just getting plus one a turn. As they're going to be, well, they're getting a lot of pluses, but. We've got Eden, we've got Surrender, we've got plenty of cards we can just kind of deal with. So, I mean, Donmir of Troy would usually be a big kind of scary card, but we could just move it. I mean, we're not going to, because we want everything on one row. And they do have nine cards total. So there is a chance that if they don't have any double-up units, ignoring the brigade that we're going to kill, we could actually just easily take this. Royal Decree into Corvo. Yeah, if this was if this was any other deck, I would be or if we were playing any other deck, I would be panicking like hell right now. But just sitting with Geralt Eden in hand, this is just a good old joke for me. I think I might save Novellan for my own units to be honest. It's worth, you know, still damaging their units, I suppose. Just in case anything does go wrong with the Eden. I mean, I doubt it will, but you never know. They could end up doing something to kind of move my unit or move their units or anything like that. Famous last words right there. I mean, surely they must realise something's up. I've got two leader charges to move things. I could very easily just move Corvo. I could I'll just move Donmir and Corvo at the same time. Corvo becomes useless because he only works in the ranged row. I, <laughs> I'm not being subtle here. I might put the Dragoon next to our Fryhead Brigades just so Nivellen can move those ones without touching our defender. Although their deck doesn't really seem to be very aggressive. Well, right, we'll just move down that unit. Use our Dragoon, move that one back up. And we're still just pinging at them. What else have they got then? Geralt Eden! Well, I mean, <laughs> that's a surprise. It only really did... Was that like a... What? Three on that brigade, two on the other, two on itself, 
That was a seven point Eden. <laughs> We're about to, um, in a few turns, show them what a real Eden looks like. You know what, actually? Novellan could just be used on their two front row units. And then we just use the leader if they put anything else down. Yeah, you know that that seems like a better play to me. We've got eight units on the back. Where's the last one going? Karafi Heatwave. And they get rid of our defender. So they may have 80... What's it going to be? 85 points. It's just going to go even more up because of Drummer Boy and Leader and Anna. Okay, so... She, why am I doing that? No, it's not worth it. I mean, do I? I guess so. Oh, no. Just Eden. Why am I messing about with this? Take him down a ridiculous amount so we win already like that. And, I mean, go on, let's just, let's just make them surrender for, for BM's sake, because we're a douchebag. Right, anyway, now that we've shown our douchebaggery, that's going to end the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you want to give this movement deck a try, I will leave the deck list in the comment, or in the description of the video. And other than that, I'll see you next time.